Hi Floss You, it's Nurse from Nurse's Stitching Lifestyle. Welcome. Today is Tuesday the 7th of March and I know it's been a few weeks. Life just gets in the road sometimes to find the time to film. Um, this is my channel about my cross stitching journey and welcome back. Um, I do have a wee bit to show you today. Been a wee bit busy. Some things I've made lots of progress and some things not so much. I'm just going to move that camera back a smidge. It's better. Otherwise you won't be able to see the stitching. Okay, so... Oh, where do we start? Let's have a look. Okay, so I have a big pile over here. We have our, um, looking at my table behind me, we have the giveaway to draw later on. Um, but yeah, let's get started, eh? Okay, so the first project I'm going to show you, sorry about the black and white picture, it's the way the printer printed it out, is Andale. I'm going to show you 1827, Big and Beautiful by Shakespeare's Peddler been stitching this lovely lady for a little while and we are slowly getting there she is one big girl so here's all the colors I'm using this is DMC just love the colors all right so this is fabric 40 count let me just double check my tag yes 40 count I dyed myself so down the bottom is mostly done. Just got this little corner over here to finish. The border is pretty much done. And I am still debating. I haven't decided. I'm gonna get some opinions soon. Um, on whether I need to redo the whites on those. Cause the other whites stand out. So this is where I concentrated on this time round. So I've done the framework for each of the vases. Probably actually pretty accurate there, the colours. Um, of each of the vases, and <laughs> I filled in the flowers this time round. So across the middle is now now all done. Love these, they turned out so beautiful. Even when you see them in real life, they actually stand out really well. Um, but yes, she's one big lady. If I whoops, lean to the side and stand back, she is. She is just about bigger. I think she's just about bigger than Elizabeth Weston, which is just over on the wall, just out of sort of range up here. Um, but yes, really happy with my progress on that. So, um, just so you know, we have our Christchurch uh, Stitches Retreat, which is our New Zealand Cross Stitches Retreat this weekend in Christchurch. Yay! Um, so lots of people have, a, have already started arriving and a lot are arriving um, on Friday and prep for Saturday. So I'm catching up with a few people tomorrow, Friday, for lunch. Um, there's a few people coming to my house um, to catch up with today, tomorrow, and probably over the weekend as well. Um, so really looking forward to that. So in prep for Searchers Retreat, I have, I've put aside to finish off this part so that, you know, we can start getting the, the pots and the trees and flowers and all that in there. And I've also left all the internals in here for this borderline as well. Um, nice, easy stitching for when you're talking to people because I don't like stitching backwards and having to take it out. Um, so I want to make sure that I've got easy fill. And I've got a couple of projects like that that I'll show you um, that I'll be taking with me. So, and Dale will definitely be going to retreat. Sorry, oh, my granddaughter's artwork on the back. Hmm. <laughs> but that's all good. Okay, so that was project number one that got a bit of stitching on it. Um, and as you know, I like my big girls. So there's a few big ones to come. Okay, another project that got pulled out and stitched on is another big one. And that is Dutch Beauty. My little bits are gonna fall out. So 
I don't get as much on this as what I wanted to. It's been stitched on Up in the Attic by Fox and Rabbit, 46 count. Um, just going to throw the book down. Bitchy nose, lost two bitchy nose. Okay. So here's all our gorgeous colours. DMC threads. Which are the called for. Right, try and get it where we get that background colour. It's a bit sort of there. Okay, so this way. Um, so here's where I stitched. So I had just really hard to see those, isn't it? You can see them really well in person. I think it's just the light, lighting in the room. Um, so I fold in, once again, I've done the base work for the vases and the flowers in them. And I fold in all the flowers in these parts here. Yeah, maybe if you jump on my Instagram, you can see a clearer photo um, of them. I then proceeded to come back into the arch. Um, and I have done, it's a very faint line, but you can sort of see the outline of her skirt. And here is the shield that she is holding. Which is this little wee part way up here. And that's where I'm stitching. So there's a little bit more fill in for this one too. But I'm not going to take Dutch Beauty. I'm going to savour her for being at home. Only because she's so big and cumbersome. That um, she'll just get in the road a little bit. And I think I have enough big projects to <laughs> take with me. I'm trying to limit it to, to just a few. Because you do more talking than you do stitching. Okay, so project number three. Oops, I'll just take the prep them all on their cards and then I have to pull the books off. I pulled out and worked on was Elizabeth Furness, 1836, Hands Across the Sea Samplers. And I know there is a lot of floss tubers that have been doing this one and have finished it. Um, and it's oh, just made me want to pull it out and work on it. So I did do a couple of evenings um, on her. She is being stitched. Let me find my little tag. On 40 count um, that I dyed myself. I love the colours. It's probably about accurate for colour wise. Okay, so beforehand we've come across, started in the middle up here, and we've come across, we've come down the side. So filling in the flowers, and this time I started on the bottom. And I just love this little shepherd. He is so gorgeous. Oh, just love how this is coming together. So, I am going to take this one with me. And the reason why is because all around this sheep is one colour. All around this sheep here is another colour. Easy fill. Perfect for retreat stitching. When I'm actually going to get to touch all of these, I don't know. Last year at retreat, the first day, so much talking, so much catching up with everybody's projects. So exciting. Um, that I, I put 10 stitches in. And you know that's not like me. It was here. Kind of sad. But, oh, Elizabeth. Beautiful. So yes, Elizabeth Furness. Absolutely enjoying searching on her and seeing all these finishes come up from um, all the others that have been stitching on over the last year, I guess, with their um, their little goals for each month. It just yeah, so I so want her up on my wall. She's definitely gonna get there. Okay, so Another one that has been a while in getting done, which is just because I have so many beautiful projects on the go, is in all things be exceedingly diligent. Now this one is by Needlework, oh sorry for that, Needlework Press. It's being stitched on 40 count. Now I have done the companion piece to this. Here is my DMCs, which are absolutely gorgeous. 
and here's where we're at. So I have started in a little wee bit. Right. So once again, I have prepped for retreat. So in round here is just a box like this. Let's come over a little bit more here. It's just all the blue background. Easy stitching. In through here, all the gold now needs to be all yellow needs to be filled in. That's all ready to go. You can see it on my on my needle here. Um, I make these boards a wee bit big, didn't I? Um, I finished the swan in my last stitching session, and I've done the little motif here. And I finished doing the house, all except the filling in. So another project that will come with me. Um, I started the little wee rabbits. They're so cute in here. I think it's a rabbit, a rabbit and a squirrel. Um, so we are almost. Like it looks like a lot, but it's not really, because here's the house that I need to fill. And here's the squirrel and the rabbit, so I've still got all of this, plus to bring this along, across the top. But, goal, get this filled in, this part filled in, and then these two guys here filled in. So it really means I'm only working with three colours at retreat. And if I can get that done, I will be happy with my progress for that. Um, coming up. Yeah, it's wonderful. So, exceedingly diligent will be coming with me to retreat. Okay, so, then I thought, oh, what am I going to do now? Like, I try and stitch a couple of evenings on, on a project, which could mean anything from two hours stitching to, you know, maybe four, maybe five. Um, sometimes... I can, I can spend all day stitching, but it doesn't mean that I'm actually just stitching. I'll be doing other things as well. Um, I have been doing a piece for the retreat. So that is now finished stitched. It is fully assembled. Um, but I can't show you that until next floss tube. And I promise I will. So that's kind of took up most of my stitching time. But the next one that I decided to pull out was because I just wanted some one color stitching. So, of course, it has to be a red sampler. Um, so, Maria Vincenza. Lariccia. Lariccia. Hands across the sea designs. Love this one. So, mine is being stitched on 46 count attic lace from number 12 Stitch Co. I am using Silks for You PB34. So underneath here, there's not much more stitching. It just comes along a little weeny bit. But what I did this time was I decided I wanted to fill in some of these beautiful pieces here in the in the center over here. So I have come up and I have done these three vases here. And I think I still have one more vase to go here and I've started it. And that is... And find him this little wee one here it's gorgeous i did finish off oh sorry for the wobbles guys i did finish off this bird here as well this will not be going to retreat with me but i do love how it's starting to come out oh, that green is just not showing up the fabric is actually a really I mean, it's antique lace but it's like a real pale pale green i just love it with the red Gorgeous. So yes, coming along beautifully. Okay. Let me just have a little look see. Right here. So another one that I prepped really was and they send by examples from the heart. Called for threads. Apart from one DMC. Only because we couldn't get that one thread. Okay. So, I spent a couple of days on this one. And I have, whoops, I had sort of up about here, not a lot of it done. So, uh, the snakes have both sides have been done. And what I've done, fold in 
the motifs and all that in the middle of that big cloud at the top. I have done one side because it's one colour is on this side of the cloud, one colour is on this side of the cloud, and then it has another colour in the middle. So, once again, nice, easy fill for retreat stitching. I'm really planning on getting a lot done, <laughs> but I want a lot of choices for when I'm there. Okay, so the sun was stitched, and then I started coming down doing the little wee stars, which if you can just kind of see, if I take that off, I don't want to rip it. <laughs> Had to make sure everything was on properly, because otherwise... Those little wee four-legged things with tails and claws like to pull things off. Um, so here's where I am, and those are the little star parts that I stitched. So yes, as you can see, lots of fill-in to go here and fill-in to go here. So to avoid getting the... Because um, they're variegated threads. So to avoid getting the, you know, like up here, I've got a bit of a zigzag line going. Um, I actually stopped doing that because I didn't want that effect on my, oops, sorry, did not want that effect on my picture. So over on this side, I have started, I started just going around the outside and then around the outside and just going to keep doing that and work my way in. Do that here and it just gives a different effect to the cloud. Uh, it actually looks really nice. I will do the same here. I will just come along, go around the outside, and just keep making my way in until we get right to the middle. But yeah, absolutely loving how this is coming out. Um, forgot to tell you, she's being stitched on hog bristle, 40 count from Fox and Rabbit. They're gorgeous. So, and they sinned, will be coming. I'm going to need to probably take a suitcase just to fit everything in. I won't, but yeah, <laughs> it feels like it's going to be. Okay, so then I thought, oh my gosh, I need to get stitching on something a wee bit different. I've been kind of working on the same projects for the last, I guess, month. They've all sort of, you know, a night or two, and then maybe I'll pick them up again. Um, and as you know, I have a lot. So I thought, right, I need to pull out something I haven't stitched on for a little wee while. So I pulled out Mary Gibson, 1828 from Whilst Iris Snaps. So this was an exclusive to the... Oh, it doesn't say on the... Uh, um, it's a foster tube group and my mind has gone completely blank. homespun and needlework I think that's what it's called I'll pop it in the link below um, you guys really need to join this group especially if you love your samplers and stuff um, or any of the sampler designers because there's quite a few of them that um, it's all you buy an exclusive pattern you buy it through the shop but you have to be in the group to click on the link to then be able to buy it you can't buy it directly from the store um, so yeah, I thought, oh, absolutely, I need to get on with this. Keep starting to see people's finishes coming up, which so motivates me. Right, so it is being stitched with Wheat Star Works. Beautiful, gorgeous colours. Hello, Kitty. Um, so beforehand, I was, I put that there, minus the red parts and... Here, and there goes the, cat, the camera. Kitty, please don't. Please don't. Um, so, this time around, I'm just going to hold my foot around that. Um, I stitched some more of the little ABC in through here. I started here, which is the centre of the top. And I'd come this way, of course, and come down. So this time I've come across and I've come down to the bottom of that page. So in theory, a little bit, right across here is the first three pages. Not that we folded all in yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so then I brought the border along a little wee bit more, the internal border, and the same with the green one. 
I then got started on this beautiful little wee motif here. Um, thumbs and fingers today, aren't we? Um, in this one here. So it's only got, I think, one more colour to go to fill in and then that motif will be finished. But I do feel I've made some pretty good progress. It was only a couple of evenings work um, to get that done. So yes, Harry Gibson. So I don't think this is going to be released. I think it is definitely was just an exclusive to the group. Um, but, oh, so glad that I to buy it and I am loving stitching it. Okay. Looking around. Right, so that's that's kind of the last of my whips that I started. I'm just gonna move the table over a little wee bit. Um, that's it. Right. So I did work on a couple of other little wee things. But I'm just gonna pull them over. Right, anyway, so I'm I'm taking a finishing class at the retreat um, just to you know, get some more people into our ornament exchanges and things like that for Christmas time or any other time really because they don't have to be all Christmas. I've just lost dropped a pin. Um, so I have been finishing up, getting ready to finish up some ornaments. Um, so these ones are from... Priscilla and Chelsea, uh, are we? the Real Housewives cross stitch. Um, stitched on 40 count fabric that I, I dyed myself with the pink. Come out so cool. So they're, they're gorgeous. So I oh, left my backing fabric. Backing fabric is over there on the ironing board. Like I see, prepping. Um, so I've got these guys to finish up either probably Friday sometime and so yeah, I can do that while I'm chatting to people that doesn't matter um so I've got those three and I've got another three that was this one um it is black and white so from the jingle ball that was on in December um I was in Wellington with my friends, statue friends, and we had a get together that weekend. And we all kind of purchased different things. And I know it's black and white, and I do apologize. Um, but I did buy this shiny objects from Hands On Designs. I do love her Christmas ornaments. Um, and they are now stitched. And I will finish the prep work on these guys, because these are actually the ones I'm probably going to use for my um, how to make the ornaments. Peace on Earth. I stitched these on 32 count um, just charcoal from Swigart. Um, they are now backed with black interfacing just because otherwise as soon as you put the um, padding on for the ornaments they do show right through. And we have Joy to the World and Happy Holidays. So those are my three um, I'm going to use, I think, for my um, finishing class. But yeah, loved stitching these, Kathy. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I kind of stitch all three at the same time. So I kind of get started like on the, on the border thing across. Then I came in and I did all the wordings um, for each one because they're all all similar there and then they start changing a little weeny bit so then I went along and did all the tops so one lot has houses bells and puddings which is really cool then the ornaments are very similar but different colorways and then you've got your leaves and stuff but, and I've picked a um a gold cream gold and sparkly fabric for the back but you'll see those in my next floss tube um all nice and finished up so once again, prep work for retreat. Um, these are all the sort of colours that we use in between the two lots of ornaments. So they were really nice. Just 
everything. I haven't dropped anything else. Okay. So, the next thing I did, I'm just going to drop that there. Keep that one. That's part of that. We just have a little bit of tie up. Was I had a series. Had I started this? I think, hold on, I think I have one more whip. I think I do. I think I'd started this. A stitch in time saves nine. Hands across the sea samplers. Oh, the samplers are gorgeous. Um, and this is exclusive to a stitch in time in Hobart, Hobart Tasmania, which is in Australia. You can still order these. I believe she's going to have them till the end of the year. Um, I didn't order the kit because I have plenty of fabric and I had um, I had the 103 silk count, which was colour number 664. Gorgeous. I am stitching her on. Let me have a look. Um, it's 55 account, just a Kingston linen, so just a plain Zweigart in here. So I had, I had, I think I've done the AB, I've done that, and I sort of started coming down. Well, I have now made it to the bottom. So I have started on each of the different little wee borders, and I really was hoping to get a stitch in time. Saves nine across the bottom, but I've just run out of time. But gorgeous. So she's not that big. This is the size of my hand. I'm 55. She's going to be quite small. It's going to be a better reflection. It's a real, it is a real beigey. You can see where I've used my little wee hoop. I use a, um, just a spring hoop when I'm doing the, the very, very small stuff. Um, just to help open up the holes a little wee bit. And I stitch in hand most of the time, but just makes it a little bit easier. Um, so yes, absolutely love how this is coming out. Um, we'll just, so if you, if you haven't, I would definitely recommend. The shipping is very fast, um, even if it is coming from Australia. Very, very fast shipping. And I know they ship all the way, all around the world. So beautiful. So yes, that was my last whip. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, things are a little bit out of order. I'm trying to get so much multiple stuff done today. Okay. So since I finished stitching those little wee ornaments, and I couldn't help it, I was in the box or in the folder with my um my printed out PDFs from you know like like the Jingle Ball and other ones that I've bought like from Priscilla and Chelsea and all that sort of thing. Um, I know I've been wanting to start these because this came out at the Jingle Ball as well. And these are by Heartstring Samplery. It is black and white photo. I do apologize for that. Um, and it's the Advent Season Ornament Set. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. Um, and they are done on a charcoal. Well, in the picture, it looks like a charcoaly gray. And I think she called for, we go to the back page. Um, she called, she stitched them on Fiber on a Whim in the colour Dusk. Um, I didn't want to do that. I had this vision of what I wanted. So they only take three colours, which is awesome. Um, all DMCs, so Ecru, three triple seven, and four six nine. So I'm just using up. You know, I've got one that was still on a bobbin. Just using them up. Using up my little pieces rather than buying new. But I decided, and as soon as I seen these, I bought this fabric from Catherine at Country Stitch. Um, when, we were, when we were there that weekend. And I wanted to stitch them on 40 count. Um, and I wanted to do them on midnight which is a really dark, like a dark navy. But my gosh, those colors are standing out so beautifully. So I started with hope. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I've done the word. I've started filling in the base of the sign. Um, and tree number one is almost done. 
things in that one there is it's kind of hard to see on this but there's one two three trees it's gonna be a little wee guy and then it has this big bright star at the top and they are gonna be a fun shape we're gonna end up this kind of shape which would be nice to be so nice to have something different on the tree shape wise and the dark blue love it absolutely love it so yes now i won't be taking that well maybe i will i might take that to jude's for stitching tonight tomorrow night what is it thursday tomorrow night um take those to jude's for stitching when we catch up with some other friends um, but yes so that was one new start um my pile from this side is now on the floor over here <laughs> okay so then Another new start there was, was it the 14th or 16th of February? Can't remember the exact date. Um, but it is for the stitch, stitch along with traditional stitches. Um, and the pattern is N Johnson, 1832. She's gorgeous. I absolutely love her. So, got the kit. Oh, now I'm going to throw them away, aren't I? Come here. 100. 103 silks. These are the four colours so far I have used. And it goes this way. Now, I over dyed um, my fabric. I wanted it to be a little bit darker than what it was um, and a bit more blotchy. So I've over dyed. So we've got the top corner and I've come down the side. So I haven't done much. Um, it was seriously was like, I think, a couple hours work. One, one evening anyway, it wasn't a lot of time. But at least I started. I will catch up because um, this is, I think it's over over a year or 15 months a year i think stitch along with them normally start okay but hmm. we'll see I either race the head or i put it aside and carry on with something else so yay and johnson started i oh, don't want to lose all those because i'm just sitting loosely here at the moment there's the needles all right so another start that i did of course was my leap year start off in the camera today. Okay. Just a little bit of a pull out. So still got a wee bit of prep work to to do, get ready. And I've got threads loose in the bottom of my bag. But I started. So Lucy Nivea, 1818. Queen of the May for 2019. Been putting her off, putting her off. One for all the one over one. The different types of stitches in this big French knot tree. We're going to get there. We're going to get this done. That's why I've done it for the full year project. Um, and here is my little wee start. This is the center flower at the top and then the two flowers on either side. So not a lot. I see one night stitching. Funnily, February the 29th. Leap year day. Um, I am stitching her on, let's have a look, I think it's 40, 40, 46, where did I put my fabric piece? Yeah. Normally have a tag on each one that tells me exactly what I'm stitching on and maybe it's still in my book here, 40 count and it's one that I've dyed myself. So I will we'll get that onto my tag. But I do love that. She's going to be a big girl. Um, I can't remember, did I cut it? So this is her. It's like a big sheep. <laughs> it feels like it. Um, so yes. <laughs> it's not a lot of stitching done so far. But that's okay. I wanted to do it on 40 count because it'll make the one over one stitching a lot easier to do. So that was my other new start. Sorry for the place I'm going. Okay, sorry, Lucy down there as well. Um, 
let me see. Let's have a look. Okay, so um last weekend I had my friend and for friends for many of us, Judith, come and stay um for the weekend, which was really, really lovely. Thank you so much for coming, Judith. I had a great time. We got lots of talking done, we got lots of stitching done, um, and we got some sewing done. I ended up not being very well on that um, Sunday, so the project that we, or well, I wanted to sew, was to turn one of my tea towels into a project bag. So it ended up being a joint effort between me and Judith, so it's a half and half bag if you like, um, but we turned Anne, um, the tea towel of Anne into a project bag. So, part of it I did and part of it Judith did. And thank you so much, Judith. I really appreciate that you finished this for me. Um, and this was the fabric I chose for the inside. Just nice and dark. Worked out with all the reds and it worked out with the zip. So currently in here, not that I have stitched on it at the moment, is Isabel. The other Urfindale sister. Um... Of course, Anne is still in there, and Ruth is in here as well. Um, so I need to get contact with our ladies that do our um, Zoom stitchy meetup and make get us going on one for next weekend. Can't do it this weekend because of retreat, but I'm off again next weekend, so let's get up. But I absolutely love how it turned out. Thank you so much, Judith, for your help. Love it. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Thank you. Um, okay, let me just have a little look. See, right, so the last thing probably left to do is cut by the purchases and stuff, but I'll show them. I might show them next week. Um, I, I do have, I have a few days off coming as of from today, Thursday. Um, and I haven't had a break from work for a long time, over a year. So to actually have some time off is awesome. I really, really need it and I'm really looking forward to it. So I have a few goals. Um, and I will film that. I have, just look over there, I have two, I oh know, 50 litre containers, you might as well say. Or maybe not that, 25 litre containers, maybe 50 litres in total. One is full of ornaments that are stitched, that need to be finished. The other is full of other stitching that needs to be finished. And I thought, this this week off, I'm not going, uh, other than retreat, after that I'm not going anywhere. Um, I plan on a home holiday, and I plan on some stitching, of course. I need that for my sanity. Um, but I'm planning on doing a wee bit of finishing. I um, definitely need to get these projects. Some of them have been years sitting in there and it's like why am i procrastinating on doing that so i definitely plan to get those done um but i will film i will film a before as in what is in these boxes and then i'll film what i managed to achieve at the end okay so we've made it this far and i would like to thank everybody um for these subscriptions I would like to thank everybody for um, the comments that you've left. I know I didn't reply to a lot of them until today. Um, just time just got away on me. Um, but I do have everybody ready to who entered for the draw for Hannah Coates 1848 from Hands Across the Sea Start Place. If you remember, I had purchased two of these at separate times from separate places. But, oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Sorry about the glare, guys. These birds are amazing. This little lady, she's so cool. Oh, love her. Okay, so here is everybody. Old school way. Um, only because I don't need another app on my phone. And that is not going to be used. So everybody that used the word sampler in their... their um, comment was entered into the drawer there was just over 130 of you which is wonderful thank you so much 
um, lots of lovely comments about um, my stitching and my wool. Um, that is an, actually, mm, yep, that is another thing we need to talk about. Um, okay, so here we go. Can't see, can't see, lots and lots. And the winner is Socks for Mum. Just going to focus. Okay. I will pop it up on the screen. Okay. Um, so Socks for Mum. You are the winner of Hannah Coates. Um, I will pop my email address underneath. And if you could... Um, flick me an email with your address and stuff I will get that out in the post to you it will not be until after the retreat just because there's just not going to be enough hours in the day at the moment um, but that is fine I'll get that out to you um, let me see there was a couple of questions oh, they came up regularly in my um, in the comments um, in the last two videos so Yes, while I am on my break from work, I will film the sampler. The samplers that are finished and up on the wall. Um, there is a few other samplers that are finished that are not framed yet. Um, and I will add those probably into the end if I remember to pull them out. Um, but I will try and do that in name and give you all the details about every sampler that is up there. Um, because you don't really get to see a lot. These, um, if we move the camera just slightly here, they're still all this side as well. Um, and then up above here, there's a couple. And on some other walls, there's a, a couple of smaller ones. Um, but yeah. And there's some like, further along this way. I'm on the TV. Above the TV and on the other side. So yes, I will... We'll film that. Um, probably the most common one, and I'll answer the question for it now, is this lovely one behind my shoulder here with the Red House on it. This one here. So it is called the Red House Sampler. It is by Brenda Keys from the Sampler Company. It is absolutely gorgeous to stitch. Um, who else has done it? Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, has stitched that one as well. And there's quite a few others. My mind is just going blank. I know Carol has because she started it um, not long after I've done it. Carol started it um, just by fluke. So yeah, absolutely love that. But I will, I will go through that wall. Um, a lot of people wanted to know how many hours a day I stitch. Okay. So I don't sleep much. Let's just say that I I'm up early. In the mornings um even on my day off today is my day off and i was still up not quite at five o'clock like normal but i was up at six o'clock in the morning this morning um but normally i'm up at five every day and i get ready do my morning routine stuff um and then i take a couple of hours um or some up to a couple of hours it's not always a couple of hours um an hour to two hours in the morning and i will stitch it's a good way to relax me before i go to work um, and that sometimes is when I more stitch on my smalls or I might um, do a bit of prep work. So I might, you know, pull out the DMCs or uh, set up the next project kind of thing. Um, and that's where I'll do that because then when I come home, there's only me. And all I want to do is come home, get changed, eat, and I am going to sit and stitch. Um, it's my de-stressor at the end of the day, so I can stitch from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> um, quite easily. But in saying that, I yeah, most nights it'll be 2 to 4 hours. So in, in practice, I'm minimum of 3 hours a day, up to 5 hours a day. Um, on my day off, I can also be found quite regularly just to be sitting on the couch. Still get everything else done. But, um, yeah, that's where I am. And that's what I, and that's because that's what makes me happy. That's what I like doing. Um, so, yes, I do stitch a lot. But that is my choice. 
Um, and not everybody has that free time to do that. Um, not everybody can concentrate searching for that long. And trust me, that's why I work on so many different projects because I might have a mini goal in my head for what I want to get done on a certain project and then I will change to something else. Okay, um, and the next one <laughs> that was most commonly asked was how do you choose what to stitch on next? Sometimes something's calling to me um, and that may be because I've seen it on a floss tube myself. And um, or like Elizabeth Furness, for example, you know, I was starting to see these these finishes coming through on their floss tubes or their almost finishes. Oh my gosh, I've hardly done any. Pull it out, get started, move, work on it. Um, and that will get me going as well. Especially if I'm watching someone's floss tube that's done it. And quite often I will watch floss, a floss tube twice. Because the first time you're kind of watching but you might be stitching or you're listening. You know, that's food prep time, it's it's whatever. Um, or I'm concentrating so much on my stitching that I'm just missing everything. So I will, once I've watched it, I will put it in my playlist. And I might watch, and I'll just sometimes have that going all the time. And I, that's why I can sit for so many hours because I don't get up um, and change all that. So, yeah, other than that, I pretty much, my, my project bags, unless I have a goal on something that needs to be finished by a timeline, which I try not to set timelines for myself, um, my project bags are basically just lined up. I do roughly know what's in each one which is probably why you regularly see some projects, or I have a goal where in, in my head, I want that project finished. And I might want that project finished by, nothing's gonna get finished by Easter. Well, I shouldn't say nothing by Easter weekend. I do I do have a couple of things in my head, but that doesn't mean it's gonna happen, so I'm not saying them out loud, because it seems to jinx me when I do. Um, but I I grab a project bag, I'll just go over and go, okay, pull it up, pick it up open it up if I'm not enjoying the stitch it'll only get that one night if I am enjoying the stitch it will get a couple of nights um, and I try and do either a couple of nights or like grab a project so say it might be like say I'm stitching it I am stitching that says we know but say my goal was I'd been stitching for ages and my goal was to get this flower here done Right, that that it will be my goal. I will just stitch, and if it takes me one night, I'll get it done. If it takes me two, I'll get that done. That's kind of how I'm I'm working at the moment because I love all my projects and I want to stitch on them. Um, and I do try. I should say the other way too. I do try and do a different project in the morning to what I do in the evening. Um, so quite often my ornaments and stuff like that might be my morning stitch. Um, or it might be prepping the framework for not what I'm stitching in the evening, but what I want to stitch after that. Um, but yeah, I do, do try and get most of them done. Okay, I think that is it. It's time for me to clean up this mess. I need to start packing for the retreat, even though I, I'm not, I'm not travelling. I am staying in my hometown or my home city, um, but I am going to go and stay with my friends for the weekend, which will be lovely. Um, but I need to finish getting everything ready for the finishing class. I need to get my, pro my project bags ready to take for what I want to stitch on. Um, and, I, and I need to get my gift exchange finished because procrastination is part of stitching, I think. Um, but it's all good. I will be ready by 9.30 on Saturday morning to go. Ah, nah, it's all good. If I haven't got it, it's not like I can't come home and get it. So that's not a problem. Okay, guys, have a great, great time stitching. If you're coming to the Christchurch retreat, I'd love to catch up with you and stitch and chat and see all your lovely projects. Um, if not, then we'll definitely catch up some other time. Um, like I said, I will try and make the videos next week. That is my goal. They are on my list of things to get done. And other than that, thank you. Have fun. And remember, guys, one stitch at a time will get these projects done, whether it's the little wee ornament or the big samplers. 
one stitch at a time. Thank you. Bye.